It is September 25th, 2017. If there is one thing that I have learned after being married for 30 years, it's that different signs from God impact people very differently. And this sign is about a butterfly. My wife has been impatiently watching this caterpillar for the past two weeks that eventually turned into a chrysalis. She told me from the start that this lowly caterpillar was going to be a sign of her moving into a deeper walk with God. And so it attached itself to our outside hose. And at the same time as all this, I had just put out this image on my new website about the eagle at 1260d.com. And you see it there about the woman riding the eagle as she escapes the water that is being spewed from the serpent's mouth like a hose. It's the scene from Revelation 12. And so my wife asked me what I thought about the sign and what I thought it meant. And I told her that if she, sorry, if it does mean anything to me, it means that this coiled hose upon which the caterpillar hung like a letter J, reminds me of the scene from Revelation 12 where a serpent spews water after the woman. I said that the butterfly is the insect equivalent of the woman riding the eagle in Revelation 12. This is because the lowly caterpillar is transformed into a butterfly, allowing her to now see things from God's elevated vantage point. And this is the same message I have been stressing in my recent articles and videos. Well, it happens that yesterday, as I put out the video about the blood moon eclipses, and in that video I remarked that the day that I published that blood moon video, which was yesterday, happened to be Tishri 4th on the Jewish calendar, which Tishri 4th is the anniversary of when God created the sun, moon, moon and stars. And so I thought, and I said in the video, that was fitting for this video to be put out about the sun and moon on the same day as God created the sun, moon, and stars. And then, very early this morning, I put out a link on my 1260d.com homepage that directed people to the section in another of my videos to the part about the eagle being compared to a monarch butterfly and so forth. It then goes on to speak about David Wilkerson's prophecy about Donald Trump, but this right now is not about Donald Trump. Anyway, then later today, this lowly caterpillar, the same one there, emerges from its chrysalis, finally. We caught it on still images and video, including all the stages from days earlier, because it was so important to my wife. My wife, Kathy, has been anxiously awaiting its arrival like an expectant mother. She even invited others over to watch. Anyways, well, I took note that today is Tishri the 5th. Yesterday was Tishri the 4th, when God created the sun, moon, and stars. Today is Tishri 5th, which is when God created flying creatures to fly through the heavens, as recorded in, in Genesis 1. Well, perfect timing again. And then I also recall the dream that God gave to my daughter Sarah on about August 14th, 2017. She had texted me back then, which was, uh, what, a month ago, and had asked for an interpretation to her dream. And the number 888 was in this dream that she had. And that, in turn, to me, connected the dream to uh, the birth of Jesus, or rather when he was circumcised at eight days old, because uh, the name Jesus, when, which is what they called him, of course, adds up in Gematria to 888. Anyways, and so you can see that there's a link between the birth of Jesus, again here in this dream by Sarah in Revelation 12. Her, tree, her dream was the following, and with this I close. And while this is certainly a very personal sign, I'm not trying to say this is some, you know, huge event, but like I said, some things speak different ways to different folks. And what is important to me may not be important to another, and so forth. Anyways, besides all this, it makes my wife happy that she can see her butterfly on YouTube. Anyways, my daughter's name is Sarah, as I said. 
Her name means princess in Hebrew. And this is the name or the nickname that we call her. But the name God gives her is warrior princess. Just like the woman who rides the eagle. And I've been thinking about my daughter as uh, I talk about the warrior eagle. And I actually name it on Pinterest as the warrior eagle. I put it up, put up the fractal video about the warrior eagle there on Pinterest. You might be able to find it. Anyways, of course, this is uh, true of all believers. It's not just about my uh, daughter, Sarah. My daughter and I interpreted her dream to be about her being changed into a monarch butterfly because in the dream she mentions the name Vanessa and that's what Vanessa means in English butterfly. Anyways, this was my daughter's dream and with this I close. I'm not going to take the time to interpret it more fully but it was an interesting dream. Sarah texted me and said, I dreamed I received a check from Vanessa because she had just gotten married. I was a little disappointed that I wasn't invited to the wedding, but I think the gift kind of made up for it. The number 888 was on the gift and it was worth $28. There were pictures of her in her wedding dress. And uh, that's what she texted me on August 16th. And then she retexted me right away. Yeah, I think, sorry, yeah, I had this dream the other night. And I text back, and with this I close, 888 is easily the number of the new creation of the 144,000 of Mount Zion is recorded in the book of Revelation, heaven, which having his which is god's name on their foreheads okay so with that i'll leave you to ponder that dream and uh i just think it's this god's way of doing the small little sign that this whole message about the eagle you know i view life now as like a fractal i view the bible like a fractal i view time like fractal you know this is a tiny sign on our tiny level of life but then god is doing this sign about the eagle on the around the entire world and the big picture of life.